Hello, and thank you for clicking on this link to learn about purchase orders and how they behave in QuickBooks Pro Premier Enterprise Solutions. It's a non-posting transaction. It does not affect your general ledger or anything with accounting. It kind of just holds the items you're going to purchase from the vendor, and then you can receive or enter a bill or write a check against purchase orders when they actually come into your warehouse or your place of business. So if you look at the home page for a second, and Pro Premier and Enterprise uh, have purchase orders, although uh, Premier and Enterprise do have a little bit more functionality as far as drop ship and being able to go to a purchase order from a sales order or from an estimate. You know, it's just part of the workflow. But just as far as a basic purchase order, I'm going to click on a vendor here and I'm going to order, you know, a few things. And, and you can do partial purchase orders as well. We'll do uh, Light Pine and then another, uh, you know, Brass Hinges, let's say. We're going to purchase those and you're going to bring in, you know, maybe five of these and 25 of these. And I have the vendor, and uh, Premier has this nice little current availability icon, so you can see, you know, what's out on other purchase orders, what's on sales orders, what's been, you know, reserved for assemblies, and you can show the details as well. Pro would not have this type of icon, but still. And then, of course, I can choose drop ship, and I'm going to go to Christy Abercrombie's kitchen. That's going to be the address, right, that it pulls there, the correct, her, you know, because you have multiple ship two addresses per customers. And there's my purchase order. So number 6240 for calendar V. You know, I'll ignore all that. And it'll save that. And then there are reports you know, I can run. So I can look at purchases and look at open purchase orders detail or by job or just an open purchase order report. I know this open purchase order detail report we came out with uh, last year in 2011. So a new, a new report there. And you can filter those if you want just so you know what you have purchased. Um, so reporting wise, there it is. And here's a purchase order I just created from here. Now what I can do is if I go back to my workflow, now I want to receive the items. I can just receive the items. And this time I'm going to do it with a bill, but maybe you do it without. It's up to you. And I'm going to choose, you know, the actual vendor. And it sees that I have open purchase orders exist. I click yes. Now as soon as I check off this purchase order and click save and close. Now this is a posting document. This bill, or it could be an item receipt or a check or a credit card charge. It's going to see the open purchase order. This is when it's going to debit or increment my inventory asset and credit, you know, whatever else. So this is when it'll be posting. Okay, so purchase order not po not posting, uh, purchase order. Uh, however, you know, obviously these are posting documents. Uh, receiving it in, this will post it. I'll click save and close, and now I have the items actually in my inventory. Okay, my purchase order uh, will be closed. I'll go to my vendor setter just just to prove it, and go to this vendor. There's my purchase order. So now it's received in full, and it's, these lines are closed, and you can force close them if you want as well. And I can look at the history, and it's linked to the bill, the receiving documents. Right? So uh, if I choose journal here, do control Y, just to show the purchase order, again, it, it, it uh, credits a purchase order non posting account, right? debits inventory asset, but you will not see it on the balance sheet until I actually receive it in, because right? it's held in a non posting account. Hope that was helpful. And again, you will see purchase orders uh, in Pro Premier and Enterprise. One thing to keep in mind as well is, you know, you can go from a sales order or an estimate to a purchase order if that's part of your workflow. If you have Premier and above, we go back to my home page. Just so you know, it can start with an estimate or sales order. Okay, and purchase order just part of the workflow. But again, it will not hit your accounting until you receive against that open purchase order. Hope that was helpful. You guys, guys have a great day there.